Hey, in today's Midday Fix, so much fun. We're learning how to make our own candles. Jason Pytrusha is here with the steps and he explains how it's a great way to repurpose some of your favorite containers. I think this would be a lovely gift for the holidays, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Make yeah. these in mass mm -hmm. and give them away and it's like made with love. Yes, uh, everyone has their favorite candles, right? They have yes. their favorite spot to get them, but uh, in case you don't want to wait for Black Friday deals or you want to make them a little bit more personal, uh, do, DIY candles are a perfect way to do that. And I love during pandemic when you couldn't go out and buy yours, yes. you started doing this and turned into an expert. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it just became a hobby that becomes something fun and something I could share with people as well. So okay, well let's get started because I know it's, yeah. it's not super complicated, but it's a process. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, candle making in general is, is pretty easy. You take a solid, uh, you turn it into a liquid, uh, you add more liquid, and then you just wait for it to turn back into a solid. Okay. Uh, that's where all the fun stuff happens after that, too. Yes. So, uh, what we have here is just um, wax flakes, right? Uh, so you take this in a general process, you would know how much to weigh out, mm -hmm. uh, and then we have a scale here and you can put that right into it. And you that. gave us all kinds of links so folks at home afterwards, you can go back to that and find out where to get these flakes and, and all the rest of the information. Yeah, okay. we have, I have some of my favorite spots for certain stuff, but yeah, those are the, those are the sites I use pretty often. Perfect. Okay, so, so you put the flakes in a little warmer, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then we would warm this up and pour it? Yeah, we would take this uh, pitcher, put it in a double boiler, uh, put that on the stove, wait for it to, uh, to actually uh, come through and melt all the way and okay. then at that point uh, you would take it and then add your wax. Uh, How long scent. does it stay loose I guess so that you or do you have to make the candle immediately? Uh, probably like 20 minutes, 20, oh, 30 okay. minutes. Oh, okay, so you've got some time. Got you some don't time. have to panic. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a very casual process here, <laughs> okay, too. Okay, yeah, good, you can good, have, good. You can have a glass of wine or something. Oh, my goodness, that's too. even yeah, better, yeah, right? Yeah, much better. Okay, so you get the flakes. We've mm -hmm. melt, melted them down. Yeah. And then we need something to put them in. Right. So I actually have melted wax here, too. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is what a scent would look like, too. So you'd have a specific amount. Every wax kind of has a fragrance load. Uh, so it'll let you know how much fragrance you can add. So the more you can oh. add, the more fragrant the, the, the candle. Um, and then certain types of wax is, will get you uh, more fragrance load than others. And I was reading that, you know, some of them smell when they're cold, some of them smell more when they're heated yes. up. Yeah. So it depends on the fragrance that you get. Correct. Okay. And that's a little bit of candle vocabulary. It's hot throw and cold throw. Uh -huh. Cold when it's sitting there, hot is when it's burning. Because you like it to give off a little bit of a scent, Absolutely. you know. Um, all yeah. right. You want it to sit there and be nice and, and yes. smell too. Yeah. All right. And then, of course, we need the wick, right? right. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to, as I'm as doing this too, you can pour that, that fragrance right in there if you want to do it because okay. you can actually pour a candle while you're here. And this one is plum and velvet cashmere. Yeah, perfect. I love all the different, <laughs> there's a, a grapefruit, what is that? Grapefruit mint. mint. That's yeah. nice for the holidays yeah, too. Nice okay, yeah. so give me some guidance here. Right, How just much? Pour it in. The whole thing? Yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I never would have poured the there whole thing in. I would have thought that was way too much. Okay. I know. Uh, this one, Glad you're here. it's going to be in there too. So you just take this and then stir it for a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. You'd wait for it to, to sit a little bit. Uh, and then you get ready to pour it into the container. And I'll let you do that if you wanted to. And I love, I want you to show off some of the containers while yes. I am pouring this in. So Absolutely. obviously we need this little tool and then the wick. Yeah. Talk to me about the difference between the two wicks sure. before we see the containers. Yeah, you can see in here too, there's special tools that you have to, to make that wick center. So you make it look kind of professional here. Too. This is a cotton wick, uh, and that's going to be really fun for um, for just a, kind of your basic candle. But sometimes, I don't know if you ever had a, a candle that had a wooden wick. I have, and yeah. I think they're really cool. They're really fun, and yeah. you can put that in there, and they crackle a little bit. Yes, uh, and it gives that little extra a little extra pop to your candles here too. So you can have this, uh, and then the to prep this is really just a sticker at the bottom. Oh. Uh, you pull that off, and then just kind of put that in there and center it. Uh, for the candle, the can candles that mm. I have here too, I really like to use these because uh, it's a little more stable than the cotton wick that you have too. Gotcha. So, All right, yeah. now I've made my candle, and so yeah. that we just let it sit. Let it sit. Until it hardens. Of course, we yeah. could also put little fun flecks or something on top to decorate it. Absolutely. So there's a, there's a lot of fun things, some glitter, uh, mica powder if you wanted to as well. Uh, be careful with those and test those too because you want to make sure that you... You're yeah, looking at some too. of your pictures yeah. where you've made <laughs> them. Yeah. I love it. Some for fundraisers, things like yes, that. Yes, the right? one for paws, the dogs, mm -hmm. and yeah. then you can make them in somebody's favorite can of beer, yes. say, yeah. or, uh, or LaCroix. And that's what we have too, because I'm a big, big fan of sparkling water. Uh, and so some of my favorite flavors here are uh, the Pamplemousse LaCroix, right? Uh, and so this one actually made a Pamplemousse, a grapefruit scent candle. Uh, this is a, a beer can. Uh, what's really fun about this too is that this is a free container, right? So right. you know, just take this and I use a medium grit uh, sandpaper uh, and then I can take this and the, this was the packaging with the thing. And yes, now you use can it use that as the cap. Just as a lid. I love it. And even Talking about easy. free, here's one of my favorite that you yeah. did and that is a piece of old china. Yes. 
Um, I had a friend who had some extra china that was in a cabinet. Yes. Uh, and so this was, again, trying to match the scent, maybe a little bit more. I think this is black violet and saffron, if you want to smell that one. Oh, it smells yeah. lovely. It sort of mm -hmm. smells like, the, you know, the flowers that are on exactly. here, right? It ha yeah. gives that, that floral note. That, yeah. I mean, imagine giving this as a gift to someone. I think this is just yeah. spectacular. Especially if they grew up with this china and like, yes. it brings, like a, a special memory to them, too. Right. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And then you can get little mason jars right. from, you know, what, Amazon or something in order. Yeah. Them. Uh, at the top of the segment, I think we talked a little bit about making party favors and, uh, and doing this, too, which was uh, sometimes, you know, these are big candles. That's a big amount of wax, right? Yes. Yeah, and if you're going to make this for teachers, maybe gifts and uh, Christmas gifts, or maybe end of the year gifts, uh, this was really easy. This was just four ounce jars that I found at the local grocery store. You can get them online. Nice. Uh, but then just like really quick ones. Everybody loves a candle. I know. This will burn for 10 to 15 hours, uh, so it's good. Wow. And then just some twine uh, to make it a little more festive. On these, we actually have a little cutout of uh, snowflakes on this Yes, too. it's so adorable. Just, All right, very quickly, I know you made a special one for us. Oh, and okay. then you know. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Uh, other fun containers here, too, fancy ones. But uh, a little birdie told me that you uh, are called Mama Bear, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. So I give a little special candle for you. Uh, and this is one you can make, like, fun labels on this. So basic container. Oh, and so oh this gosh. is a little Mama Bear candle for oh, you. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. Where's that? Uh, and that's for you to keep in this cranberry woods is the scent on that one, too. Oh, look how cute this um, is. Another one, too. This is a good WGN specific. I know we're saying goodbye to Tom Skilling oh, after 42 years. Oh, another one. But this is, a, yeah. again, a great idea for a gift. Just print right. some labels on it. Print some labels. I actually drew this one on here, a little caricature of Tom. Perfect. Uh, and you are so creative. I love it. Yeah, so Jason you. made sure to share with us some of his favorite websites to get the candle making kits. Stock up on supplies. Mm -hmm. We'll have all of those posted on our website, WGNTV.com. This is a great idea. Thank this you. weekend's my project. Yeah. Thank you for the candle.